When I survey the wondrous cross on which the prince of glory died, my riches gain I count but love.
me. Listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. What a wonderful cross. At the cross, guys, sins are forgiven. What can you give for your life? Think about it. God said, I don't need anything from you. The only thing we can give him is our body. Today is Saturday. It's a weekend. What are you doing with your body? What are you doing with your body right now? The scripture says, and these are for those who are following the Lord Jesus. You can't serve God and mama. You can't be in the club tonight and say you're following the Lord Jesus. Leave it. It's not possible. It's your body. Jesus wants it. Present it to him. He died on the cross. And he's demanding. He says, if any will follow me. Hmm. Some people want to follow the Lord Jesus. They don't want to pick up the cross. No. There is a demand. Love so amazing, so, so divine. Demands my soul. It demands my life. It demands my body. Time for you to pick up your cross if you want to follow Jesus. But if you don't want to follow Jesus, I'm here today to encourage you to follow the Lord Jesus. Only Jesus can forgive your sins. Only Jesus is the judge. He's a lawyer. He's the advocate. You know, sometimes you get the judge, but then you're a lawyer. He can't get a lawyer because he's going to have money too and nobody to witness for you. He is a true witness. He's the judge. He's your advocate, which is your true witness. And he is the lawyer. He's your advocate, which is the lawyer, but he's also your true, he's a true witness that will stand. He says he doesn't need that anybody testify of man to him because he knows man. What I don't know about you, Jesus knows. And that's okay. I don't have to know everything about you. Hello, what's it going to benefit me if I know everything about you? Can I help you? No. Jesus can save your soul. He can save your body. He said we should fear God who is able to cast both the soul and the body into everlasting fire. So Jesus can save your body. Jesus can save your soul. Jesus can forgive your sins. Jesus can give you peace because he is the prince of peace. He said the world is looking for peace. Everybody is crying for peace. There is, we need peace in the Middle East. We need peace in America. We need peace in Africa. We need peace in China. We need peace in Russia. We need peace for Ukraine. It ain't going to happen, guys. It's not going to happen. Because the Prince of Peace is not in the situation. When you bring the Prince of Peace in your equation, there is peace. You need peace in your marriage. Without the Lord Jesus, you're going to be having trouble and problem and trouble and problem because of pride. But when the Lord Jesus comes, he brings you down to the place of humility. He comes with his peace. He resides there. So what are you doing today with your body? What are you doing about the Lord Jesus? Have you heard about Jesus? Oh, just in case you have not, I introduced to you the one that can forgive your sins, the one that can save your soul, the one that can save your body. See, listen, I'm not preaching to you, Jesus, that come to Jesus, you'll be healed. Come to Jesus, you'll have money. Ah, no, 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 no. For the Bible says, what would the prophet a man if he gains the whole world? Hashtag DD. And then he loses his soul. Look at Puff. Puff guy. I mean, he was on top, right? Everybody bowed to him. He dictated the shot when it comes to Grammy. He dictated the shot when it comes to music industry. You want to be on top, you got to surrender yourself and be on his, on his good books. I remember Ty Tibet buying out of even Christian gospel music. Ty Tibet bowed out because there's so much evil in entertainment, we all don't know whether it's entertainment is entertainment. When you bring gospel and make it entertainment, <laughs> evil. What will it profit us if we gain the Grammys? If we gain the, the you know, we gain the Dove Awards, we gain this and we gain that and we gain and then we lose our soul. Today is Saturday. Let me say that again. What are you doing about your soul? Have you thought about your soul? 
Does it matter to you? Well, it doesn't matter. If I go to hell, I go to hell. Holla. That's what you want for yourself. But guess what? God don't want that for you. Such a loving God. Love so amazing, so divine. He says it's not his will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Come on. Call to repentance today too. We call to repentance every day because there's always something for us to repent from. Never get to the point in your life where you feel, I don't got to repent for nothing. Holla. Yes, we do. Because every day we sin. The Bible says that in the multitudes of words, sin like it not. So today, I cannot even begin to count how many words I have spoken. So God cannot lie. If he says in the multitudes of words, sin does not lack. I got to believe it. I got to believe that I have spoken some words today. That I should not have spoken. I have thought some things in my heart. I should not have thought of. So that's why we come to the place of repentance and pray God forgive us as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Pick up your cross, guys. Today. Tomorrow is not promised anybody. Tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow may not even come for any of us. Because we don't know the hour. We don't know the time. We don't know the day. When he will come, but he told us when you begin to see this thing and see this thing and see this thing and see this thing and see this thing, know that your salvation is closer than when we first began. And we have seen so many things. I will not forget Cathy Williams. So <laughs> I will not forget. <laughs> I will not forget my friend Cathy. Cathy Williams said 2024 is a year of expose. He doesn't care. And this is the truth. We see a lot of expose going on, whether it's in the world or in the church, there's a lot of expose because God, for me, God is sweeping his church. The election is coming up next month. It's going to be a time of expose. God will rule our reign. Wherever it goes, you know that the judgment of God is coming. Guys, are you ready? Are you ready? Nobody can promise you and nobody has promised you and nobody will promise you all that Jesus has promised you. Forgiveness of sins and the salvation of your body and your soul. Those are the things that are very paramount. So think about it as you go to bed today. Say, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Well, don't think too much. Come to the Lord Jesus. Jesus said, you believe in God. Believe also in me. Believe that he came to save you from your sins. That's why he came. And say what? Then repent. Begin to turn a new leaf. Begin to ask him to come into your life. Begin to, how do you ask Jesus to come into your life? Because I, you only take the word of God. And as you read the word of God, the word of God displaces the evil. Then you begin to repent of your evil. Begin to repent because the word of God displaces. There's a displacement that because when light comes, darkness got to go, guys. So, join us again. On a better way, as we come with another encouraging word. And we just trust God. That God will move in your heart as you begin, as you begin to just tailor your life towards him. As you begin to just, just move a little bit, no? Because you might say, ah, I cannot drop this boyfriend. I cannot drop this shuku shuku that I shook. I cannot, that's fine. Just take a little step. He says, if you draw closer to me, I will draw closer to you. Just take a little step towards the Lord Jesus today. And watch him begin to reveal himself to you through his word. Let me say that again through his word. So pick up a Bible. If you don't have any, you buy shoes, you buy clothes, you buy food. Get yourself a Bible. For man shall not live by bread alone. You must only buy pizza, buy spaghetti, buy yam, buy collard green, buy chicken, buy turkey alone. You need to live by the word of God. God bless you. It was a pleasure. And thank you for hanging out with us today. Catch you next time. Hmm. Love. So amazing, so divine.